Hello, my name is Buddy Kales. For the past 30 years, I've been a fire investigator in both the private and the public sectors. I've been teaching a variety of fire investigation related topics at FDIC since 1997. With that in mind, I'd like to talk to you today about who you are and who you represent yourself to be when you go to that scene to conduct an investigation. Are you the fire investigator? Are you the fire marshal? And if you are, do you know what that really means? It means more than riding around with the white card that says fire marshal on the side or responding to the scene as the fire investigator. It means taking into account what NFPA 921 says about how that fire investigation scene should be conducted, how that fire investigation scene should be processed. Probably more important, it talks about who you should be. Who are you as far as the NFPA 1033, the technical standards for professional qualifications for fire investigator? Do you know what NFPA 1033 says and who you're supposed to be? If you represent yourself as the fire marshal, are you aware of what NFPA 1037 says as far as the professional standards for fire marshal? If you're not, you should make yourself aware of what's contained in these documents because these are the standards, NFPA 921, NFPA 1033, and NFPA 1037, the standards by which you're going to be judged and the standards by which your investigation will be judged upon. Remember, whatever you do with that fire scene, keep safety in mind and safety should be your number one priority. Thanks for your time today.